Hi guys. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a Lumpiang Shanghai or spring rolls. Okay, and this is now the ingredients. Since I don't, I don't have carrots, so I chose to use a potato. Okay, finely chopped. A salt. Finely chopped red onions. Garlic. If you have powder garlic, guys, it would be better. But if you don't have, so I just chop garlic into tiny. Black pepper, ground pepper, two pieces of whole egg, a seasoning granules, but this one, guys, is optional, okay? Uh, this is just to add taste or flavor. Okay, I'm sorry for my roster, guys. Sorry for the noise. My place is surrounded with rosters outside, my god. Bit annoying, you know. A cooking oil. But if you have uh, a sesame oil for meat mixture, it would be nice. But I'm going to use a regular oil, you know. My mixing bowl. My big plate and a plastic gloves. For me to use on mixing the ingredients and of course the lumpia wrapper so these are now guys my materials and of course guys my main ingredient ground pork okay so guys i am now ready i have these glo plastic gloves in my hands and of course, I like to wear this uh, face mask because if I blah blah blah, you know, to prevent my, you know what I mean. So I need to wear a face mask. So this is not the ground pork, guys. So just, just hold. Because I'm going to make a Lumpiang Shanghai six pieces. So this is like, uh, less than a one fourth kilo ground pork all you have to do guys is mix all together the ingredients in this bowl okay salt the garlic onions And my ground pepper. Just a few guys, you know. Oh, okay. And instead of carrots, I use potato. Because, <laughs> again, I don't have carrots today. So, I feel like I like to make a lumpiang Shanghai. So, when I check what's in my kitchen, I only have potato. So, I use potato instead of carrots. So a whole egg, just one, and of course a seasoning granules, but this is optional to make the taste more tastier. <laughs> okay guys, just a little. These are the ingredients, all you have to do is to mix all the ingredients guys, okay? So instead of use uh, using sesame oil, I just use a uh, classic, a regular, you know, an ordinary kind of oil. Uh, I just I just like to add a little. Uh, I have other ingredients supposedly be mixed, like parsley. Parsley. If you have parsley, guys, in your kitchen, just. Uh, chop it into uh, tiny it's a uh, fresh 
fresh parsley okay guys and that's it actually guys you can use a spoon on mixing all the ingredients but me I'd rather use my hand but of course with the gloves to mix the ingredients but if you have a, a stand mixer guys it would be nice also I, I prefer to mix it by my hands with the gloves because uh, you know you can mix the ingredients very well like this so you need to mix it very well three to five minutes okay now guys uh, the the meat mixture is ready this is the second egg guys just beat the egg using fork as you can see guys there are two eggs you know so this is now guys the lumpia wrapper place it on top of the big plate okay once one and a half tablespoon place it on on our lumpia wrapper here one and a half so this is one and a half more so spread the spread the meat into the lumpia wrapper and after guys all you have to do is to fold the bottom left and the right side and then roll roll the lumpia wrapper wrapper slowly like that and then and then get a small amount of egg get an egg and like that to seal the lumpia wrapper like that roll again and then so this is now guys we need to press so after that press slowly to make sure that it is totally sealed so that, so that guys if you fry the lumpia shanghai it won't open so make sure guys that this is fully sealed by pressing a little bit okay here's now guys my lumpiang shanghai rules um how many are they i made 10 pieces here and on the other plate is eight pieces total 18 pieces of lumpiang shanghai lumpia shanghai rolls is ready now for frying okay guys so the next thing is preheat a uh, pot since it's uh, eight and pieces so i will only fry six pieces for me and for my son and the rest i like to keep them inside the fridge and whenever i like to cook for you guys make sure that it is defrost before you fry so i would suggest that uh, deep fry is advised because the result is better and make sure guys that the cooking oil is not so hot and set the fire into medium so that it will slowly cook the meat mixture inside the lumpia so now guys I'm going to pour the cooking oil that I'm going to use I use one lapad of cooking oil and I think I need more one lapad of cooking oil because you know uh, 
deep frying is best you know to get a nice and better result so this is another one lapad of oil since my pot is quite big okay i think yeah i really need to pour the two lapads of oil this bottle so this is now my lumpia shanghai roll six pieces and the rest of the oils i can use them next time on my next batch of um, Lumbiang Shanghai. Okay, I'm going. Second, third, fourth, fifth. And my sixth. You can only tell, guys, if this one is already cooked, if uh, medium brown, and if it floats. So, guys, I am preparing for a plate with a paper dish uh, table napkin on it if you have a paper towel in your kitchen you can use it so the excess oil from the lumpiang shanghai uh, will absorb so it won't be oily so since it's already golden brown need to be put in here one by one two so make sure that it's golden brown this one so it needs to be like that so the excess oil won't so here's now guys my lumpiang shanghai is ready to serve just a cake up it became more tastier and thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to like and share um, this is the house of Jovi thank you all guys for uh, the likes and to all who subscribe my channel the house of Jovi Get speed. Let's eat.